Welcome back everyone, I'm Aaron from Low and Slow Basics and in this video we're going to be doing something a little different. This video has been requested quite a few times so we're going to do it, we're going to go through my knife collection. So the first knife we're going to go through is the utility knife. So as you would know, we use Dow Strong knives, they all come with this little knife holder, holds it in by this little pin through that hole there. Now we can pull the knife out. This is probably our most used knife. Sits really nice in the hand. Perfect for trimming, slicing steaks. Got a really nice weight to it. Super sharp and looks nice too. And the Dow Strong knife collection I have is all the Shogun series. Now they have lots of different series available. Everything I'm gonna be showing you in this video today, I'll put links for down in the description, but I highly recommend checking out their full website. They've got cutting boards, aprons, different knives, honing steels, and much, much more. So like I said, check the description to get them links. The next one we're gonna look at, is a slicing and carving knife. Now this is a big knife, perfect for those briskets or any big cuts that you want to slice. We use this when we are competing to slice our briskets up. Again, sits really nice in the hand. This is the 14 inch one, you can get these in 12s as well. Also great for carving your Christmas hams or roasts. Razor sharp and it just slices through everything we've put it to with ease. Next up, we are going to look at this vegetable knife. Now, oddly enough, this is one of my favorites to use. So as you can see, this has got a hammered finish to it. Looks absolutely beautiful. The blade's a little bit heavier, obviously because it's for chopping vegetables. Not an overly big knife, got a really sharp edge to it. And like I said, one of my personal favorites to use. Next up, and another one of my favorites, is the butcher's knife. Now this is the perfect steak slicing knife. Still big enough, you can do a decent sized brisket with it. I've trimmed with this knife as well. It does have a nice pointed end so you can sort of get under those membranes on the beef ribs. Again, it just sits beautiful in the hand and an absolute pleasure to use. All right, so this one at the moment is my favorite knife. We have got a Chef Cleaver Hybrid. Now this, is such a nice knife. It's big, it's heavy. Like I said, it's a cross between a chef knife and a cleaver. So this is absolutely perfect for getting through pork belly with crackling or roasts with crackling. Anything you need a little bit of extra weight to get through, this thing will do the job with ease. It's so sharp. Like I said, it's got a nice weight to it. Very heavy knife and it's just a very mean looking knife as well. As a butcher, I've got a huge appreciation for knives and this is easily my favorite at the moment. Now in a moment, we're gonna be unboxing this new knife I've picked up so you can see exactly what you get when you purchase a Dow Strong knife. But before we do that, I wanted to show you this awesome knife roll. Now they've got a bunch of different styles and colors to choose from. We're just gonna unclip that, unbutton the handle, Roll it out. As you can see, you've got some zip storage pouches here. Lift that up and you've got some knife storage options there. Got another little zip pocket here. And you lift this flap up. And as you can see, I've got all my knives in this pocket here. And then you've also got room for additional knife storage under here. So you can fit a bunch of knives in there. I think there is 22 knife pockets, but obviously if you've got big knives like the Chef Cleaver Hybrid, that's gonna take up almost two to three slots. But this knife roll is amazing and I had to show you guys. Right, so let's unbox this new knife I've picked up. I'm gonna use our little utility knife to help us open it. And if you've got a favorite knife or knife collection, let us know in the comments below. All right, so once you've removed the plastic, remove the outer case, and you get this in a nice box. So we'll put this aside for now. And then we'll open our box up, get a nice little Dow Strong pamphlet, goes through a bit of the range and a few knife care tips as well. Get another couple of little pamphlets in there. You get a nice little microfiber cloth so you can keep your knife looking nice and shiny. And you get this awesome little Dow Strong pin as well. And then, of course, the knife. Any guesses as to what it is? Let's open it up and have a look. I decided to get a bread knife. Had a look at this online on the website and it is absolutely beautiful. 
It's a little bit shorter than the brisket knife I've got, so it's gonna be perfect for those smaller briskets. It's also gonna be great sawing through some pork belly as well to get through that crackling, and of course, bread. Razor sharp as well, that is gonna slice through anything I put it to with ease. Absolutely beautiful. Again, just sits beautifully in the hand. Really well balanced. Can't wait to use this one. Now the Dow Strong knives straight out the box will stay sharp for a very, very long time. But when it does come time to sharpen them, make sure you do it properly and get some wet stones. Now again, these are available on the Dow Strong website and I'll put links down in the description if you wanted to check them out. Without going into too much detail, the wet stones are a much better option to sharpen your knife and they'll also preserve your knife for much longer as well as these sort of stones aren't as harsh. They come in different grits, so do a bit of research, find out what is best for you and I definitely recommend picking up some wet stones to maintain your knife. Now a couple of my Dow Strong knives are coming up for a sharp and especially my utility knife. I've almost had that for a year and I use it numerous times a week. So I've been thinking about doing a sharpening video. Let us know in the comments below if you'd like to see that. That's the end of the video for now. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.